All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show guys with the E92 N55 um, how to take off the um, the mass airflow sensor, which is here, and then the MAP MAP sensor, which is here. It's gonna be connected to a charge pipe. So if you got a stock charge pipe, it's gonna be connected to that. Obviously, I've got an aftermarket cob here, so um, this is what we're gonna be doing. Uh, taking off the map is fairly simple. Just get a, in this case, I've got a, since it's aftermarket, I've got a, a Torx bolt, whatever, that I'm going to be taking off with that. I forget the size. I guess like a T30. I'll show you in a minute. And then up here, this is just, um, I think this is an Allen. Yeah, that's going to be another uh, Allen deal. Just got off of work, so I'm a little tired. Anyhow, um, We'll go ahead and get started. Obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the clips of the air box there. If anybody's ever taken this off before, it's fairly simple. Uh, just take off this screw here, and this whole deal is going to come out. That'll give us access to the sensor here, so we'll take that sensor out. And then once all the sensors are out, um, I'll show you guys how to clean it. All right, so now that we've got the air box off, I'm just going to show you guys right here. The MAF sensor has got a, I think it's a T25 here. So obviously, we're just going to pop that off. Before we pop that off, actually, you're going to Use a little flat air right here. Just kind of get in here and take off this little clip with the uh, this wiring sensor. Just connect the two. All right, now that the screws are out, just gonna wiggle it. Just be careful when you take this out. Obviously, you don't want to mess up the inside of the sensor. All right, so once you kind of loosened it, just kind of take it out. And this is what the mass will looks like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cleaner, and I'll show you the cleaner in a minute. We're just gonna spray all this down, being careful not to get inside the those metal contacts there. So I'll probably just cover it up like this and spray it. Now let's take the map out. All right, so for the map sensor, MAP, uh, I've got a T30 here. Now this is probably gonna be different than um, than for guys that've got the an OEM charge pipe on here. But if you've got a aftermarket one on here. Obviously, you've got that sensor on there, so you know how to take that off. So I'll just go ahead and skip this step, and we'll get uh, we'll get to cleaning once this is out. All right, now once the map is out, you're gonna need to get a flathead and get in here, basically get this connector off. All right, so now we got both sensors out. This is your mass airflow sensor. This is your MAP. I forget what that's called, but uh, notice that they are different. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, airflow cleaner and spray all along here and spray all along here, making sure not to get inside these contacts. All right, so here's our mass airflow cleaner. Uh, I'm not really gonna show you guys how I spray it. I mean, obviously spraying it, spraying it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, once we get this thing cleaned out, um, I don't really have any suggestions on how many times to spray it, but I'm probably gonna spray it like three times, let it dry, it dries pretty quick. Um, and then of course the install is just gonna be the reverse. So, the reason I'm doing this is uh, rough idle. I've had to do this um, do this last week, but I did in kind of a rush. I'm still getting a little bit of rough idle, so one of these sensors is probably bad. Um, but anyhow, I'm gonna clean it again and see how far I get. Um, this one is pretty expensive. It's about 200 bucks US. This is about, it's cheaper, maybe half that price. Not sure why, but it is what it is. So that's it. Hopefully this is helpful to someone.